Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to understand this full bridge or H bridge inverter circuit using IR2184 ICs. So here basically we are using two IR2184 ICs for driving two half bridge stages, which finally together become a full H bridge inverter. This inverter is converting 220 volts DC into 220 volts AC, pure square wave, across the load using four MOSFETs. We are also giving 50 hertz square wave input at the left side to run the thing with proper switching. So now if we see the extreme left side, a 50 hertz frequency is fed to the IN pin of the left half bridge IC IR2184 which is switching the IC output on of according to the 50 hertz square wave signal. That 50 hertz signal is coming from some oscillator, maybe from Arduino or IC555 or anything similar. We can also see the SD pin of IR2184 is connected through a resistor to the VCC supply rail. This SD pin makes sure that the half bridge ICs work only as long as this pin is high, and if a low is detected, then this SD pin shuts down the associated IC internally, preventing an overload or overvoltage situations. Now, let us consider the working of both the IR2184 chips. Each IR2184 is getting supply from plus 12 volts and has a bootstrap diode, BA159, and bootstrap capacitor, 10UF-25 volts, between VB and VS pins. This is needed to drive high side MOSFETs properly. The IN pin is getting on of pulses from the square wave toggle stage. The LO pin is directly driving the low side MOSFET. The HO pin is driving the high side MOSFET through the bootstrap. Each IR2184 drives one half bridge, so two of them together make a full bridge. In the H bridge, we see four MOSFETs shown in green color, forming the main H bridge power stage. Each half bridge has one upper, high side, and one lower, low side, MOSFET. These are switched alternately to push-pull the load and make it feel like AC across the output terminals. The MOSFET gates are configured with pull-down 1K resistors, which ensures that the gates of respective MOSFETs never stays floating under any circumstances and thus avoids any spurious switching of the devices and unpredictable behavior of the MOSFETs. We also see 10 ohm series resistors at the gate lines to avoid ringing or spikes. Across the output load, we see two 1UF slash 1KV capacitors, which help to kill spikes and filter some noise. Now across the output load, we see one 100K resistor and one N4148 diode, and a preset plus transistor feedback system. This section is doing over-voltage sensing or maybe output waveform shaping. When output goes higher than expected, then voltage reaches the preset section. This bias turns on the relevant BC547 transistor, which then pulls the SD pin of the IR2184 low, stopping one driver and balancing the output. There's another similar feedback network configured across the RX resistor which is a current sensing resistor. This feedback involving the RX resistor protects the circuit from overcurrent or overload situations. During such situations, the overcurrent passing through RX causes an equivalent voltage drop across RX, turning on the associated BC547BJT, which in turn grounds the relevant SD pin of the IC, causing an instantaneous shutdown of the inverter, allowing the current to get controlled below the maximum unsafe threshold. This feedback makes the system safe, so nothing burns. So that's it friends, this is how the proposed H-bridge inverter circuit works. If you have any related questions, please feel free to express them in comments below. I will try my best to solve it for you. Thanks for watching.